Hi guys, so in today's lesson we'll be discussing about angle of incidence versus angle of attack. Let's begin. Alright, so if you are someone who's getting into aviation engineering or a student of aeronautical engineering or aerospace engineering, you'll come, come across these two angles during your first year. Uh, especially in, if I remember correctly, it will be in your fundamentals of aircraft chapter. Often students, students get confused between these two angles. Uh, for some reason uh, which I'll reveal uh, at the end of this video so to understand this uh, the to understand this concept properly uh, first we have to look at uh, look at the uh, basics of an airfoil so as you can see on the screen above an airfoil consists of leading edge trailing edge and cord line remember this now moving on there is there you can see a line going uh, across an aircraft so this line is known as longitudinal axis this goes from uh, uh, nose of an aircraft till the tail of an aircraft and now you can see on an airfoil it goes from uh, leading edge till the trailing edge which leads us to angle of incidence an angle of incidence is an angle between longitudinal axis and cord line now we'll talk about angle of attack. An angle of attack is an angle between relative airflow, the airflow which is going towards an airfoil and cord line. So as you can see, uh, often students get confused between these two angles because they both revolve around cord line. So the cord line, uh, so the cord line term usually confuses them. But now I hope this uh, video has cleared confusion for you guys and this was all for today's lesson and I will meet up with you guys in my next video. Thank you.